In Jackson, a stolen backhoe was used to break into a gas station. And police say this is the second time the equipment was used to commit a break-in. CJ Lee Master spoke to one of the victims who is still hoping for answers. Every night I go to sleep. I'm thinking about the phone. Somebody's going to call me 2 o'clock after 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock. The store is going to get hit again, you know. Quick Zone owner Alad Drabi says he's had several burglary attempts in recent months. The most brazen took place two weeks ago when someone stole a backhoe and tore down his sidewall, stealing cash and a lot of lottery tickets. Then on Thursday, someone steals a backhoe again, driving it a mile on Medgar Evers Boulevard, smashing the front of the Southland Grocery and Gas Store. An employee says they took some cigarettes. Ward 1 Councilman Ashby Foote says he's amazed nobody, including police, saw it. And he says the bold nature of the burglary disturbs him. It speaks to the larger problem is that people think they can get away with this stuff and not be held accountable about the system. Now we don't, city council doesn't control all the parts of the system. The legal parts, the courts and all that are something that's pretty much beyond our reach, but we've got to make sure the things we do have control over, which means a well-funded police department, a well-manned police department, and a well-trained police department. Drabi says he appreciates what police are doing, but he's out of pocket from all the damage to his store, and he's thinking about cutting his losses. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. If I got somebody, he gonna buy the store, I will sell it tomorrow morning. I will sell it right now. Yeah. You know, I don't care how much. I'm serious. I want to like, get out of this area.